Remember my brothers and sisters, fasting is a pillar of Islam. We have five pillars. Praying is also a pillar of Islam. We must pray. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us if you are unable to pray because of sickness or if you are traveling, then we can change for you a few things to make it easy for you. Because you and I know that traveling is very, very difficult at times. So Allah says, well, if it's more than a certain amount of, uh, you know, meterage, more than a certain distance, or if it is difficult, then your prayer, you may do it in a slightly different way. You may shorten it, etc. So Allah is making it easy for us. Similarly, if you're unwell and you cannot stand in prayer, he says to us through the blessed lips of Muhammad, peace be upon him, that you can sit and pray. No problem. My aim is not to make things difficult for you, but you fulfill your duty. If you cannot sit and pray, you may lie down and pray. Amazing. But you always do that which you are able to do in the best possible way that you can do. These verses of fasting show us that if you are unwell or you are on a journey, you have an option of not fasting and making it up later on when you are okay or when you are no longer on a journey. Imagine the blessing of the Almighty. He is giving us comfort in times of crisis. What is the crisis? The crisis is, I can't fast if I am not well and I am sickly or perhaps I am diagnosed with this virus and I'm concerned about my immune system because I have an underlying condition. Allah says, the aim was never to make it difficult on you. Listen to what Allah says after he says, you must fast. He says, Allah says, whoever is unwell, sickly, incapable or on a journey can make the fast up later on after the month of Ramadan. Because Allah says, He wants ease for you. He does not want to make things difficult for you. He knows your condition. Don't stress. So this is why people who have some excuse and they know they cannot manage. Allah says, no problem. You can make it up later on at another time. What about those who really cannot because of their age or because they have a terminal illness and may never be able to make it up? Well, in that case, he tells us that you can actually give a charity, a certain type of a charity known as a fidya on for every fast that you have missed and the Almighty will accept it from you.